Elon Musk's dream of populating Mars is coming within reach for SpaceX. As the Earth becomes less habitable, life in Martian colonies appears to be a serious prospect for future generations. However, SpaceX's CEO just announced that they have a new problem with Mars. So what is it? What will it take to obtain and achieve this goal? Stay tuned and keep watching as we uncover the answer to these questions. Many businesses, such as SpaceX, are attempting to land on Mars. But the more plausible it appears, the more obstacles it presents. SpaceX has recently thrived in the limelight because of its unique and mind-blowing concepts, workmanship, launches, and achievements. With the sole intention of creating a colony on Mars, SpaceX designed and developed an incredible rocket dubbed Starship in order to realize its aspirations. With the goal of launching numerous Starship prototypes every day and producing a huge number of monster engines to power its Mars spacecraft, what could be the issue with achieving this aim in the near future? Elon Musk revealed that creating a sustainable and permanent food source for its astronauts for the required number of months to arrive on Mars, which is approximately 24 months, as well as the food required while researching on Mars, and the food its astronauts will need when returning to Earth is another 24 months. Elon Musk says this is a major issue for SpaceX, noting that it's impossible to stock the spacecraft with that much food for the voyage ahead. It's also not a good idea to stack it in another spacecraft because that will cost a lot of money. As a result, this is the present issue that must be addressed quickly if SpaceX, or any other space company, intends to take human beings to Mars in the near future. This issue is not exclusive to SpaceX, but to any space organization or company aiming to establish a fair level of human presence on Mars. Space corporations such as SpaceX and NASA have stated that a crewed trip to Mars might occur within the next few decades. The real question was where they reside after they arrive on the surface of Mars. What will they inhale? What are they going to eat? These are the difficult, complicated problems that will take teams years to tackle. There are now laid out plans and even more additional information on how to achieve all these issues, with the exception of the most crucial of all, which happens to be the billion dollar question. What would astronauts eat on Mars? And how would they consume it? Although scientists have learned a lot about feeding astronauts in orbit, the longest any astronaut has stayed in space is just 14 months. This is the present constraint that every space agency and corporation will face, because the weight of the cargo on board is a crucial consideration for any rocket launch. It's improbable that a Mars crew would bring two years' worth of food with them. Some of their food will most likely fly ahead of them on a different rocket, which means it will have to be cooked and packaged to keep it fresh until the crew arrives. However, Martian astronauts will need to supplement their meals with another good source of food, something on which Earthbound communities have relied on for many years. Agriculture Can a Martian food system for astronauts and people be developed on Mars? Dr. Wayne Martindale, Professor Mark Swainson, and Tom Hollins are three notable scientists who believe it's possible. To feed the human population in a hostile environment, a food production system on Mars will theoretically require transdisciplinary knowledge and successful application of outputs into a range of stationary technologies. Many of these technology solutions will already be in commercial use for Earth-based applications and may thus be reused. A significant amount of creativity will be necessary, and ideas must not only tackle the difficulty provided in a safe and consistent manner, but also the most efficient manner feasible. However, because of these multifarious issues, technological solutions do not always have to be high-tech. Rather, they must be multi-layered and suitable rather than high-tech. To generate food efficiently in a hostile environment, a combination of highly sophisticated science, technology, and the biological systems will be necessary. The hydroponic system may be employed within a universal sustenance cell, or USC. Hydroponic simply means feeding plants with water or mist. Basically, plants get their nourishment from the additional feed rather than soil. Hydroponic systems are often classified as either ebb or flow systems. They may not be incredibly water efficient while producing a high yield. Scientists can eventually turn to algaeponic technology after considering other variable options. Algae are a sustainable agricultural supply because they develop at a rate that is more than 10 times that of terrestrial plants and require just a tenth of the land mass to generate equal biomass. It does not require clean water and may be used to purify water. Being a sinewy creature, it's likely to thrive in harsh settings too. Even though none of these hypotheses have been tested on Mars, the viability of farming and food production on Mars for subsistence is dependent on a massive accumulation of technology as we approach such hostile settings as Mars and, in turn, will develop a new technological practice required to sustain Martian colonization. 
However, before adding nutrients or any other item into the Martian farm, it's critical to first eliminate the toxin. The toxin in Mars soil is composed of chlorine atoms linked to four oxygen atoms, also known as perchlorates. These substances are created by both living organisms and inorganic processes. They can be found in a variety of environments on Earth, including the groundwater at NASA JPL. According to NASA, they were discovered by a Curiosity rover on Mars while searching for clues of organic life in the regolith. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, perchlorates may be converted into explosives, fertilizer, or fireworks with a few experimental changes. However, perchlorates are extremely harmful to humans on their own. Unlike water, there is no food on Mars. If colonization begins on Mars, what will they eat once they've exhausted all of their meals for the two-year journey? Assuming Earth can no longer maintain life, Martians won't be able to import their favorite cuisine from Earth, which means we'll have to cultivate or produce food all on our own. As we've seen, scientists are already working on this, but it seems the average Martian lunch might consist of a cricket burger with lettuce. Instead of a dairy farm, they'll be building an insect farm. We're already growing lettuce in space. Are you surprised? Well, you can also be offered a side salad of tomatoes, cress, and mustard leaves. In research, these crops grew better in simulated Martian soil than they do in Earth soil. Lastly, you can have a mid-afternoon snack of radishes and strawberries. Scientists think these crops will also do well on Mars. And yes, we're sure you might get tired of this food after living on Mars for years. This is just a small part of the many signs of progress aimed at making life on Mars a reality. The question that Elon Musk seems to be worried about is 1. How his astronauts are going to eat while well during the trip to Mars. 2. What they're going to eat after they land and settle, and how they're going to survive that long on canned food, especially not knowing how long they'll stay, not to mention the return trip back to Earth. I can imagine it would be a hell of a ride, thinking of what they're going to eat traveling for two years back. If a solution can't be found quickly, then going to Mars is going to be a serious challenge. More interestingly, how about this dream to build a city on Mars? What are occupants going to eat, especially if there's a large population? All of these challenges are enough to make someone quit. But as we know from Elon Musk, he has a stubborn personality, and he's always done the impossible, so we hope some solutions come up soon. Many scientists and space enthusiasts would like to see someone set foot on Mars for the first time, assisting us in overcoming the prevailing and overwhelming barrier of the voyage to Mars and establishing the first human presence on the Red Planet. For the sake of future generations, we must investigate every possible way to occupy this planet. As a result, what Elon Musk has divulged about this stumbling block for SpaceX's Martian journey is daunting, but we hope that all space enterprises, space agencies, and even SpaceX will finally find a solution past this one-of-a-kind problem. This is an Earth shot with a Mars rebound, not a moon shot. Which space business or organization do you believe will break through this barrier and be the first to set foot on Mars? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks 